Hello students. Let's continue our journey through comparing quantities. Today, we are going to a new topic, compound interest. In the previous session, we saw that Rohit and his mother went to a bank and deposited 50,000 rupees at a rate of interest of 5% per annum for two years. After two years, they got back 55,000 rupees. Thus, they get an additional amount. And it is called interest or simple interest. We know how to calculate simple interest. Here, we want to calculate the interest for two years. For that, initially, we will have to calculate the interest for the first year. Here the principle, P1 equals 50,000 rupees. And rate of interest, R equals 5%. So the interest for the first year, I1 equals P1R by 100. Equals 50,000 multiplied by 5 divided by 100. Equals 2,500. Similarly, we can calculate the interest for the second year. Principle, P2 equals 50,000. For calculating simple interest, principle remains same. So here P1 and P2 are same. The rate of interest, R equals 5%. The interest for the second year, I2 equals P2R by 100 equals 50,000 multiplied by 5 divided by 100 equals 2,500. Therefore, the simple interest for two years equals 2,500 plus 2,500 equals 5,000. And the amount she got at the end of the second year equals principal plus two years interest equals 50,000 plus 5,000 equals 55,000. At the same time, Rohit's father deposited the same amount 50,000 rupees in the bank for two years at the same rate of interest 5%. And he got back rupees 55,125. How did this happen? There was an additional amount of rupees 5,125. We know that that it is an interest to the amount. But there is a difference in both interests. Rohit's mother got 5,000 rupees as simple interest. But how did his father get 5,125 rupees? It is calculated as compound interest. That is, compound interest is the interest on a loan or deposit calculated based on both the initial principal and the accumulated interest from previous periods. Let's see how to calculate compound interest. We have principal, P equals 50,000. The number of years, N equals 2 years. Rate of interest, R equals 5%. For calculating the interest for the first year, let's take the principal as P1 equals 50,000 rupees. We know simple interest I equals P1R by 100. Therefore, I1 equals 50,000 multiplied by 5 divided by 100 equals 2,500 rupees. For first year, the interest will be same as simple interest. Then the total amount got at the end of the first year is P1 plus I1 equals 50,000 plus 2,500 equals 52,500 rupees. Next, we have to calculate the interest and the amount got at the end of the second year. For that, the amount got at the end of the first year is taken as P2. That is, P2 equals 52,500 rupees. Continue the process by calculating the simple interest. I2 equals 
52,500 multiplied by 5 divided by 100 equals 2,625. Then the total amount got at the end of the second year is P2 plus I2 equals 52,500 plus 2,625 equals 55,125. That is, the total amount received at the end of second year is 55,125 rupees and total interest received after two years equals 2,500 plus 2,625 equals 5,125, which is the compound interest. From these calculations, it is clear that simple interest is the interest earned on the original principal only, and it remains same every year. But compound interest is the interest on interest and is calculated on the principal and interest accumulator over the previous period of time. Let's do another example. Find the compound interest, an amount to be paid on 20,000 rupees at 10% per annum for two years. We have principal P equals 20,000 rupees. Number of years N equals two years. Rate of interest R equals 10%. For first year, principal P1 equals 20,000 rupees. N equals one year. R equals 10%. We know simple interest, I equals PNR by 100. Therefore interest for first year I1 equals 20,000 rupees multiplied by 1 multiplied by 10 divided by 100 equals 2,000 rupees. Then the total amount at the end of first year a1 equals principal P1 I1 equals 20,000 rupees plus 2,000 rupees equals 22,000 rupees which is the principal for the second year P2 then for second year principal P2 equals 22,000 rupees R equals 10 percent N equals one year Interest for second year, I2 equals 22,000 rupees multiplied by 1 multiplied by 10 divided by 100 equals 2,200 rupees. Therefore, total amount at the end of second year A2 equals P2 plus I2 equals 22,000 rupees plus 2,200 rupees equals 24,200 rupees. So, the amount to be paid at the end of two years is 24,200 rupees. And the total interest after two years equals 2,000 plus 2,200 equals 4,200 rupees. Let's have a quick recap. Today, we had discussed how to find the compound interest. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Rohit deposited 9,000 rupees with a finance company for three years at an interest of 12% per annum. What is the compound interest that Rohit gets after three years? That's all for now. See you all in the next class with another interesting topic.